Hey guys, so right now, I am going to add some highlights to my wig that I'm gonna get. So this is what it looks like, a little short wig. Not super short, but it's kind of short. So the things that you are gonna need are all in here. So I have foil strips that I found in my hair bag that are already, looks like I already ripped them. Like I already tore them into little pieces. Like strips. You're not gonna need three of these, but I bought three because I just didn't know what I was gonna do to this wig. I didn't know if I was gonna just ombre the bottom, like add blonde to the bottom, or if I was gonna add my highlights up here. So I just decided to do the highlights. So I'm just gonna use one pack of this Color Charm powder lightener. And I also have this toner. There you go. And this is the T18. I have my 30 volume developer. And this is from Ion. My gloves, this mixing brush, and my bowl. So I'm just gonna take I guess from like these two temple areas. Yeah. And just go around and part this top section out. So this is a 13 by six inch lace front wig. And I am just going to take until I guess the first weft. I'm not even parting it neatly. And this is the part that I am going to add some highlights in. So then when it falls, then it will just fall over the brown ombre. And then I am going to rubber band the back of this like so. took about that much now I have done this before I am not a professional at dyeing hair by any means nor am I a professional at adding highlights but I have been able to add highlights to my wigs and weaves and I've been satisfied with them so if you want to learn how I do it then go ahead and keep on watching all right so I have my mixing bowl and you are going to want to do this in a well ventilated area. So I have my window open in here. And I'm just going to add this in my bowl. And then I'm going to take my developer here. And I am going to pour it in and mix I'm getting all the chunks out I'm just gonna add a teeny bit more I think I'm just gonna add a smidget more developer thick is good all right so i went ahead took the clip out and oh and you're gonna need a rat tail comb so i'm gonna take this and i'm going to tease this down and i'm doing that because i saw somebody else do it <laughs> no but i did notice that it um it's not so uniform when you um when you wash it out which I like it's not just like a block of bleach and so I'm just spraying this on here like this making sure that my strands are fully coated probably could have used a longer piece of foil but I'm committing 
Okay, so then I'm just going to fold this. Like this. I just, I don't know. I just fold it like this and I just keep going. Okay, so I leave a little space I leave like a row. Know, let me show you. So like about that much in between. Okay, so I'm just going to work the clip. I'm just gonna clip this right here just for right now to get it out of the way. Okay. Then I take the next row and I, again I just take like, I don't know, like this much, just freehand it. So like I said, I am not a professional by any means. This is just how I do it. Okay, so got that and then again I'm gonna just tease this down and just take my foil get this like this and just put it on there I'm just gonna continue this process that you spread the hair out and that you coat it as evenly as possible. So that you're getting all the strands. And then again, I'm just gonna fold this up. pin it and then I'm gonna continue so, so this is what it looks like so I have this one here this one here and then I have these spaces in between these two some hair and then these I know this looks really crazy it's gonna look good when it's done I'm confident Let's just check this to see how this is doing. Okay, so it's already lightening, but it's not as light as I want it. I'm just close that back up. And there we go, we're just gonna leave that there as it is for a little bit. So I am going to clean up my mess. This is how much bleach I have left. We'll come back and check on this after I'm done cleaning up. Okay, I'm back. Okay, look at that. So there, that's where we're at. So I'm gonna go rinse this out and then we will come back and tone. Okay, so this is what we have. So we have this and this back here. Okay, so now we are going to tone this. So I just use this regular aluminum foil. Taking my toner. So mix it with one part toner and two parts developer. Couldn't think of the word. 
So what I do is I pour in my bowl, my one part toner. And then I just fill this bottle up two times <laughs> with developer. in here and one part I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and this is so strong and then I'm just gonna do the same process that I did with the bleach and just take my little sections and put it on the foil and wrap it up. Take my pieces, my two front pieces, and notice they are damp. And this is a little watery, so be careful. And I am just going to put this on like this. So I left this toner on for about what, 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So I'm about to rinse it out and then we will come back and see what we have here. Like this. Um, I still need to customize this. I'll probably do that in the morning. And then we'll see how it looks when it's actually dry. But this is what it looks like right now. I am going to leave her here to dry. Let her air dry for tonight. And then tomorrow morning we will come back and we will look at what the finished product is. Good morning. So I am back. This is how it came out. So we have like some little golden highlights here. Overall, I think that it's good. I like it. If you guys, let's see. So when I was saying that it's not as consistent, then you guys can see that it's not just a straight line across of where highlight is. So that's why I teased it. So there's like some highlight it starts over here some that starts here and it's not just like a blunt line of highlights it, it just kind of naturally flows throughout thanks for watching our video i'll see you on the next one bye